God for God's preservation, his protection, and I really want to thank God because what he has done for me, I I really can't I really can't say. Okay, I I'm actually a member of Dominion City Abuja. I'm a new member here. I want to give God all the glory. I was coming from Abuja to Kaduna and I was involved in um, a kidnap and um, we were like three or six sorry in the vehicle so when we've not even at this we are close to Kaduna so we were asked to stop not knowing that the driver was even one of the kidnappers so when we got when we were asked to stop we to me I thought it was maybe a checkpoint or something so we stopped and we were asked to come down and we were blindfolded so that we would know our way to our way out so there was a little boy close to me at least it should be 11 to 12 years old so when we the boy was like to him he was he wanted to he wants to see his mom and he was like crying and to me in my mind i started praying that god please i don't want anything to happen to me and any other people here so they collected uh, my money i was holding like hundred and fifty thousand there because my star asked me to buy some goods from her from the market so that i would transport it back to abuja to her so after they collected everything, I started praying. The one of the kidnappers was like, why am I speaking the language that they don't understand? I was beating to stupor. The boy that was close to me, they just, <laughs> they shot him in the brain. And the blood was all over me because he was, his head was on top of my lap. And <laughs> that was my first time me seeing someone being shot. I was so scared, but I had to hold myself. I started praying, calling on the God of Reverend David Ogbeli to come to my rescue. So after everything, I started praying, I continued praying. So after the boy that was shot, they killed like three or four people. I was the only one left. And I was asked to say my last prayer. God. I started crying. I said, God, I don't want to die. It was as if <laughs> it was as if when me, when I was being shot, when I, when there was even shoot, shoot, shooting me, I didn't even know that they were even shooting. But I was hearing the sh sound of gunshots. It was as if a shield was actually covering me. So they, I think it was their leader actually that asked them to stop shooting and he asked me what my name was. I told him my name was Comfort Christopher and he asked me what my what church do I attend. I told him Dominion City. Then he was like, wow, that he hasn't seen a thing like this before in his own life. That he has been in this business for the past 15 years. He hasn't shot a person and the person, the bullet won't pierce into the person's body. Then he after he now gave me my money, the money they took for me, my phones, he gave me everything. And he told me that one day he will follow me to Dominion City. That please, he's sorry for what happened. He's sorry that they had to bring me to this kind of a place. But I thank God that I'm alive today. I'm standing in front of you to testify because <laughs> I would have been dead. But I just came to give all, God all the glory for preserving my life and protecting my life. Yeah.